spotlight. The 2014 National Cup final to be contested by two teams based just 22 miles apart. Now St Johnston and Dundee United are thrust together here at Celtic Park in Glasgow. This year's home of the Scottish Cup decider, what with Hampden Park still getting its pre-Commonwealth Games makeover. The Dundee United supporters out in force. It's their 10th final. They're trying to win it for a third time. St Johnston in their very first Scottish Cup final. And don't forget, the Saints have been around for 130 years. They go all the way back to 1884. There is Jackie McNamara, the Dundee United manager, ready to lead the team out. It is an occasion of grandeur, and I must say, a very difficult final to call. The bookies make United favourites, although don't forget St Johnston have prevailed in each of the team's last three meetings. It's going to be a nerve-jangling day for all concerned. Quite the build-up this week, both in Dundee and in Perth. Tommy right there in the background, the St Johnston boss. The two managers had a well-publicised spat recently, and the two sides locked horns in March. But that's in the past now. There is business to take care of. They both look relaxed enough, don't they? Maybe not. <laughs> Any second now, the teams will walk out. A special day at Celtic Park. St Johnston against Dundee United in the Scottish Cup final. Listen to the roars. Is it going to be an explosive affair on the pitch? We shall see. Johnston sold around 15,000 tickets. They've come from far and wide. Dundee United, around 28,000 tickets. You just never know. going through the minds of these players very shortly they'll have to do the talking on the pitch referee there is Craig Thompson his third Scottish Cup final now the handshakes before the action gets underway they all know each other so well Finish in the top six of the Premiership as these sides managed. And you face your opponents four times a season at a minimum. Jackie McNamara's United won the first game of the campaign against St Johnston by a 4 0 margin. And since then, it's all gone Tommy Wright's way. And three victories for the Perth Saints. with their famed passing approach. Not afraid to give young players a chance. Nadia Chifchi, the end of the line there, one of them. Nadia has come to the fore, St Johnson with a more experienced backbone. And of course they have a match winner in Stevie May. You can't really miss him. Really a ponytailed Stevie May. I don't think United defenders know all about him it's their job to stop him May 17 on May 17 
confirm that St Johnson made two changes from the side that ended the league season with a defeat at Inverness. Fraser Wright comes in for his 100th appearance for the Saints. Starman Stevie May returns as well. Out go Gary Miller and Nigel Hasselbank. Stephen Anderson used to captain the Dundee United reserve team early in his career. Skipper Dave Mackay has cup final experience from his time with the Dark Blues of Dundee going down to Rangers in 2003. That Dundee United team just about picked itself. Captain Sean Dillon started the 2010 final victory over Ross County. Gary Mackay Stephen has recovered from a chest infection and plays. Ryan Dow, who agreed to a new deal with the Tangerines on Tuesday, has preferred to Ryan Gold. Indications are that United will tweak things tactically with more of a 4-4-2 as opposed to the usual 4-2-3-1. A look at the two benches. St Johnston might rely later on Nigel Hasselbank, nephew of Jimmy Floyd, and Chris Sibalumo, who last scored in Scottish football 16 years ago as a St Mirren player. Dundee United will likely unleash Ryan Gold later. The 18-year-old is in line for his 50th Dundee United appearance. Greg Thompson at the ready. As are the players. St Johnston against Dundee United in the Scottish Cup final, and it will be the Saints to kick off. Grey skies over Glasgow, but St Johnston and Dundee United have given their supporters plenty of sunshine in recent months. Which one of these Tayside clubs will lift the cup and claim the one remaining European place? Brian Easton is at left-back for St Johnston. And just brushing off John Rankin. Sits in front of the United defence. What a season he has enjoyed. Now Gary Mackay, Stephen. Stuart Armstrong trying to get himself involved. The header away by David Wotherspoon. And brought up in the Perth area. Made the switch from Hibbs to St Johnston last summer. Now Stevie May. Nothing wrong with the idea. Too much on the pass, which was intended for Wotherspoon. two different approaches United like to get the ball down and play plenty of pace and verve about the Tangerines St Johnston arguably have the edge as far as experience goes and it's now Czesniak and the United's Polish goalkeeper United the 14th different club of his career It's back for Gavin Gunning. We expect to see plenty of Stevie May. Nadia Chifchi. And Ryan Dow. Thinking that the matter just couldn't leave him out, given how well he's been playing. Alan Manis spilling it. Oh, he's got away with that. Manis, the 31-year-old St Johnston goalkeeper. Well, this was Dow, he thought he might as well see if Manus was up to the task. Early stages. And the decision going against Dundee United. Manus has played seven times for Northern Ireland. Jay unbeaten in his last seven games against Dundee United. Johnson going from back to front, swept away by Rankin. It's normally the Rankin Payton alliance in front of the United defence, and that is the case again today. Paul Payton, John Rankin side by side. Here's May. What a spoon! And the defenders, as though they might have got caught, it was Michael O'Halloran who got in behind them for St Johnston. Flag was up. Graham Chambers, the assistant referee on the near side, and it was a correct decision against Michael O'Halloran. Anyway, St Johnston's answer to Ryan Dow in recent weeks, playing out of his skin for Tommy Wright. A sea of blue behind that goal. A sea of tangerine behind the other one. A wonderful occasion, this. Payton looking 
for Chifchi, not bouncing off the experienced Fraser Wright. May is eager to get forward. Russell's gone. Paul Payton. Obviously, he was Jackie McNamara's captain at Partick Thistle. Here comes off Brian Easton. Payton. Slid into the Northern Ireland squad recently, Paul Payton. He qualifies for them, although Scottish born and bred. And the Manus. It's just to steady the nerves. Stephen McLean was vying for it. And Tommy Wright. Probably doesn't know this, but five of the last 13 Scottish Cup finals and won by clubs managed by a Northern Ireland born boss. by Chersniak, started every game for Dundee United this season except the recent defeat at the hands of Aberdeen. Manus losing his head, more ways than one, quickly taken by Mackay Stephen for Dundee United. Another spoon going in, and he wanted the decision to go his way. Mike Thompson had other ideas about that. Ryan Dow in position. Dow whips it in. James Dunn stretching those legs. And from Stevenage. Too long, too strong for May. 16 start in the last 19 matches for James Dunn. This professional deal he signed was with Arsenal. I'm sure his thoughts. We'll be with the Gunners a bit later today. They'll have their own final to think about. Andy Robertson, PFA Scotland's Young Player of the Year. This was earlier. Gavin Gunning is moving a bit gingerly now. Stretching himself on the awkward fall. There's a soft part of this Dundee United side. It might be in central defence. It's no slight on Sean Dillon and Gavin Gunning. So Johnston have been able to take advantage the last few meetings of these Tayside clubs. Was Dillon away towards Mackay Stephen? Rankin. Oh, what a reason fell out of favour latterly at Hibernian, back when Colin Calderwood was the manager. Dow with Wright. Ryan Dow, Dundonian, grew up supporting Dundee United. He had steered it off right, but the ball still in play. Four times a cup winner in Northern Ireland with Linfield. Stephen Anderson. Andy Robertson on the receiving end. Stephen McLean, it was high and it was painful. Scotland debut in March. Robertson against Poland. He's in the squad for the forthcoming game against Nigeria to be played at Craven Cottage in London. Well, Gordon Strachan was talking to him last week. Thinks very highly of young Robertson. Wotherspoon wanted it back. Talk about Payton and Rankin being important for United. Same applies to Miller and Don. 
in the centre of midfield for St Johnston. Easton. O'Halloran. Back here at Celtic Park. Celtic is a very young player. And McLean trying to wriggle free. It's up against Robertson. Stephen McLean looking for a bit of protection. As we have the extra officials looking at this Scottish Cup final. Kevin Clancy behind one goal, Adam Muir behind the other. No wrongdoing spotted. Stuart Armstrong can be a real driving force. Not by Fraser Wright. Now Stevie May. Chifchi all the way back there defending. May from miles out. And it would take something special to beat Chasniak from there, but May has done it already this season. From an outrageous position. Didn't really middle it. We wonder where he's going to be playing his football next term, Stevie May. One year left on his deal with St Johnston. Stephen McLean has been the perfect foil for May. Daylight for McLean inside the box. He thought he was shoved. Robertson had a grip on the shirt. If you're going to give a penalty for that, then you're going to be awarding quite a lot of spot kicks in your average game. Ten minutes gone. That's why Chasniak is talking it over with Kevin Clancy as some of the debris is removed. Tangerine debris at that. And they've all come here wearing their colours. Supporters on St Johnston and Dundee United. St Johnston who upset Aberdeen in the last four were trailing by goal to nil and it was the Stevie May show in the second half and the United of course overcame Rangers Chief G and to find Armstrong I don't really know where Chief G is going to pop up he's not an orthodox centre forward by any stretch of the imagination Fraser Wright now May just took off. Dylan was trying to match the run of Stevie May. Scored both St Johnson goals in the semi-final victory over Aberdeen. Not yet of the full Scotland squad. He'll be part of the under-21 setup again for the meeting with the Netherlands on the 28th of this month. Chesniak, by the way, hasn't had a clean sheet in any of his last 11 matches. Not too many people expecting United to win thanks to a narrow triumph today. Has had the capacity to bury the opposition beneath an avalanche of goals. Always keep the door firmly bolted themselves. O'Halloran for St Johnston. Here's Chris Miller Went through the Celtic youth set up. Mike O'Halloran. Tough to play for Morton after that. Miller. Here's Eastern, that low ball. McLean was waiting. Oh, it was hit with authority. James Dunn forcing Radoslav Czerzniak into urgent action. Fluency here from St Johnston. Easton involved on that left-hand side. What a spoon trying to lay it into the stride of Dunn. And that's fine goalkeeping from Czerzniak. It needed to be. And Tommy Wright was willing it in. 
Wotherspoon to take it. Swinger from David Wotherspoon, oh, Fraser Wright, the central defender, arriving on the scene. A 34-year-old in his 100th St Johnston appearance. Couldn't get any purchase on it. A little swirl from the Saints. And now the errant challenge from May on Mackay Stephen. Such a difficult player to pick up. Gary Mackay Stephen, 23 years of age, has a wonderful Scottish Cup record, eight goals in 12 Cup matches as a player with Airdrie and Dundee United. Payton with the free kick. Here's Mackay Stephen. Not one of his cleverest. Started every Scottish Cup match this term for the Tangerines. She was looking to cause havoc. Always going wide off the boat of Gary Mackay Stephen. I wonder about his state of health. And the build up to this final has been under the weather. Robertson's header. McLean for St Johnston. Dillon, O'Halloran. Easton. Guy Stephen letting the ball drop. David Wotherspoon. St Johnston supporter. He's in the crowd at McDermott Park when the Saints face Monaco. He won the cup back in 1999. 23-3 draw. As Manus skews it. He dropped the ball very early on in this final. It had been fired across by Ryan Dow. Mackay Stephen. Do they have any options inside the box? Dow. Chifchi. Much born that qualifies for Turkey, Nadia Chifchi. Just arrived on British shores as a 15 year old with Portsmouth. Cleanest of tackles from Chifchi as he went in on Wotherspoon. Dave Mackay. Cut time Mackay. They called him this season in Perth. And who wants it here? O'Halloran. An important block by Keith Watson. And again, Armstrong getting tightly onto him. Trying to look for an outlet. That's a useful one. Chifchi. Armstrong. And Mackay. And the measure of Mackay Stephen. Seventeen goals for Chifchi this season. Eight in his last 12. Might have liked to get the fullbacks forward. Watson. And it comes to Rankin. He pulled the trigger away by Wright. May for McLean. Wotherspoon. Unable to jeep Robertson. Here's Mackay Stephen. And Dave Mackay standing guard. Rankin. His first Scottish Cup final. At the age of 30, John Rankin. Against 138. And for them, the United. Most of them have been starts. Got away by Gunning. This is Payton. Same can be said of Fraser Wright. Now May. A number of championship clubs in England have been eyeing Stevie May. Who 
wonder what sort of price would it take for St Johnston to sell. It's the main priority is developing as a team with Stevie May very much part of it. McLean. Down goes May. That will be a free kick. Mike Thompson just a yard or two away from the incident. Silver zealous by Rankin. The Akers had one save to make already. To deny James Dunn. May and Wallerspoon locked in conversation. Dave Mackay is joining the conference for a brief second. Chosniak's blunder. Against St. Johnston, against Stevie May in March. Much talked about. Tense moment in the Scottish Cup final. Wotherspoon runs over it. Stevie May still alive here. Wotherspoon! Oh, and it bubbles around. And finally into the clutches of Chersniak. Coming. Had gone back there. This was how it developed. Good thing that Gavin Gunning was paying attention. Didn't really work out for St Johnston this set piece, or so it looked. And it could have been an own goal. Gunning with ferocity and Chersniak concentrating to the maximum. A bit slack by United. Dylan and Chersniak. Sean Dillon started the 2010 Scottish Cup final win over Ross County. Well, the two most threatening moments so far have come from St Johnston. was competing for it, May. Rankin. Trying to make sure nothing untoward happened. Chasniak. Wotherspoon's header. Dave Mackay. And Tyler was able to... ...up to Dunn. Oh, it's followed nicely for Chris Miller. Payton. Mackay Stephen hasn't properly got going in this final. Play on, says Craig Thompson. Advantage accruing to United. Dow and Armstrong. And he gives it a whack. And Chifty wanted it play to him. Insufficient power off the boat of Stuart Armstrong. Perhaps United's best all-round performer this season. Craig Thompson decided to let this go in terms of the flow of play. James Dunn with the challenge. Craig Thompson having a decision to make. Some referees who would have immediately pulled up play. and try to keep it moving. Chris Miller. Foul was by Payton on May. Easton, speculative ball for the Saints. Robertson, last, time last year, was playing... From Queen's Park in the lowest tier of Scottish football. Just then an amateur. Chief did his job just then. Able to reach out 
and make something happen though. It was done to the rescue for St Johnston. Now Mackay. Jackie McNamara, one of the bright younger managers in the Scottish game. His appearance as a Celtic player was in the 2005 final, the victory against the team he now manages. He's famously made eight changes to the United side when the sides met in December. It didn't work out at all for Dundee United that day. Company. Almost 25 minutes gone. St Johnston nil, Dundee United nil. We're watching the Scottish Cup final. Eight Scottish Cup final to have been held here at Celtic Park. Eleven cup finals have been won by the team finishing higher than the other in the table. So that would be Dundee United in this case. Can't be lost on any of the players or the managers. How important the first goal is. Last nine teams to net first. The Scottish Cup finals have gone on to win. Robertson. The guy Stephen for Armstrong. Robertson again. Rankin. Spin on the turn by Tao. Releasing Armstrong. Hesitancy from St Johnston. Oh, it was done right in front of Fraser Wright. And Manus is there to grab hold of it. And nerves playing their part in this first half. Fraser Wright's clearance, Dunn tried to get in on the act. And Manus finally pouncing on it. It's not the sort of thing we've seen from St Johnston in recent weeks. And again, this is a cup final. It's different. And it's going to affect everyone. And Tony Wright, former goalkeeper. Manager in the 130 year history of St Johnston Football Club to lead the Perth Saints to a cup final. And to get the favourites of many. Ended up fourth in the Premiership for the third time in four seasons. Not just a trophy that they're playing for today. Also a European place. Of course, St Johnston very much enjoy taking on Rosenborg and Minsk in Europa League qualifying last summer. Defeated Rosenborg, unlucky to lose to Minsk on penalties. Here's Wotherspoon for St Johnston. Dillon was there beside Watson. Difficult to hit that dropping ball, isn't it? Dave Mackay, really known for his goal scoring prowess from there. Good score in St Johnston's last victory at Celtic Park. That was back in August 2011 under Derek McInnes. Only goal of record. Here is Mackay. Back 
28th start of the season for the St Johnston skipper. Hasn't missed a minute of action in the cup this term. Flicked by McLean. Here's May. Tied up by Robertson. What a spoon. High hanging ball. Almost fell for Chris Miller. Very sporadic United thrusts. Stephen Anderson is sweeping up. To Dundee United in 2001. Never played for the first team. Made the switch from Dalkeith Boys Club. In 2004 moved on to St Johnston. Has remained in Perth ever since. Rock of the St Johnston defence. Away goes Robertson. Dave Mackay. Wiley customer. Chance for United to get the heavy artillery forward again. Armstrong and Gunning in there. Taken by Dow. It's always going wide of the target. Tempting for United to try to find Gavin Gunning. Did have that purple patch earlier this season. Four goals in a three-game burst in February and March. Gunning the Irishman. His first goal for them, the United came against St Johnston in a 3-3 draw back in August 2011. Laden opening 30 minutes here at Celtic Park. Mackay Stephen. Solved by Stephen Anderson. Dylan Armstrong was there. Payton. Armstrong using Chief G. Robson available on the overlap to the right. Instead, United go the other way. Rankin. Robertson. Oh, that death of the flick and off the post. Ryan Dell thought it was good. Desperately unlucky. Great movement from Dundee United. It did take a deflection. That helped out. She tried to almost guide it in. Not to be for the Tangerines. Anderson with the clearance. Now Dow with the corner. Not on the target. Keith Watson had made the run. So Johnston tried to prepare themselves for the set piece. Rankin able to find Robertson. It fell for Dow. He tried to just react as best he could. Manus wasn't getting there. And it's a let off for the Saints. He's been playing fantastic football. Dow, it's his fifth successive start. To paper on Tuesday. A new contract that will tie him to United until 2016. May together with Watson. Doesn't mean so much Stevie May this season, more a case of Stevie Will. Eventually delivers. A touch on the ball. And still be on for St Johnston. There's May. Takes aim. And so they've done the United supporters behind the goal. He says he wants to stay. That St Johnston wants to work under Tommy Wright for another season at least. Studious looking Jackie McNamara. Saves. Ryan 
Ling Tao effort off the post. But no scoring. David Wotherspoon will leave it for Dave Mackay. Wotherspoon. Mackay. Mackay Stephen. For Dundee United. Making sure it is uh, United throw. Gunning forward. St Johnston in their very first Scottish Cup final. Looking for a different club to take part in the Cup decider. Scottish Cup final appearance for Dundee United. Won this previously in 1994 and 2010. It's both World Cup years. As the superstitious have pointed out this week. Sean Dillon. Header by Dave Mackay. Got a contact from Ryan Dow on Mackay. Dow penalised. Jackie McNamara going with Dow. Ryan Gold on the bench. A player who has generated so many headlines this season. I think it's a pretty good bet that we will see Gold before the day is over. And John Souter also starting on the bench. United is playing perhaps a slightly more robust look in defence Sutter very confident with the ball at his feet Dillon and Gunning together today for the Tangerines Chief Chi in attack Ryan Easter to take this relegated last season with Dundee the Dark Blues Here's Dundee uh, coming back returning to the top flight the shoulder from Dow, Armstrong, Anderson, comes off Ryan Dow last of all. Very much a ball player, a dribbler, Ryan Dow. Stuart Armstrong, with a number of top clubs. names in the PFA Scotland Premiership Team of the Year. 11 goals in 42 matches in all this term. It starts in the last nine for Brian Easton, who's rested in a recent 3-3 draw with Celtic. Entertaining game at McDermott Park. Spoon. Gunning. That's a minimum of fuss. Now down. Chief G available higher up the pitch. Dillon for Dundee United. Wasn't quite right for Payton. Dunn was able to nip in. for Stevie May. And he's not holding back. Seven minutes remaining in the first half. May for St Johnston. Hang on to it, Tyler's pass. Kai Steven, Robertson to his left, 
Here is Andy Robertson. Little flip towards goal. To the palms of Alan Manis. It's Mackay Stevens' work. Robertson wasn't quite sure how tightly he wanted to get onto his opponent, Robertson. Miller. Evenly contested so far. David Wotherspoon. Being watched again by Gavin Gunning. Now, what's it going to take in the Scottish Cup final? Who will provide the moment of magic? Jackie McNamara has been there before. Three times a cup winner as a player with Celtic. Mackay, Dow trying to get goal side of him. Put it out of play by McLean. It's because Anderson. He's feeling the pain. Zanderson against Chifchi. It's always going to be one of the main tasks facing Anderson and Wright, keeping Chifchi quiet. They both went up for it. So initially seemed to have a hold on Chifchi. Stephen Anderson, who has come off second best. Scored against Dundee United, his old club, on the 19th of April. Ready to be restarted by means of a drop ball. Uncontested drop ball. Anderson is back on the pitch. Andy Robertson. Up to Nadia Chifchi. Again, Anderson draped all over him. Chifchi. Payton. With provided by Watson. With Watson taking on O'Halloran. Wright couldn't get there, neither could Anderson. And Wotherspoon wasn't of a mind to take any chances. Didn't seem to be too much on for Dundee United. There's a right a bit slow in reacting. Missed that just about everyone. Another United corner. Dylan has joined the throng, taken by Dow. And the throw to Dundee United. Gunning likes to get the ball onto his left boot. Watson and Easton sticking to his task. Another corner. United take advantage of one of these set pieces. Left foot an in swinger from Mackay Stephen, punched away by Manus. Dow's pass. Wanted to get it back. There was an inquiry there from the United players. Dow was in full flight. So what they thought they saw, came off the chest of Wotherspoon. Nothing there. Down with his latest corner. Chris Miller. Very much the link man in midfield. First half ebbing away. 
to say, defence has uh, been on top. A boatload of goal-scoring chances. O'Halloran, Austin Johnston, and it's Robertson. Sliding across from left back. 20-year-old. Final minute of normal time in the first half now. As Easton takes the throw of us at Johnston. Keith Watson. Score for United and the 4-0. Thumping of the Saints back on the 24th of August. Anderson's pass comes off Mackay Stephen. Long <laughs> throw by Dave Mackay, chucked on its way by Stephen McLean. Miller doing the scurrying. And Easton. Right on 45 minutes, Brian Easton and Andy Robertson behind for the corner. It's up the pace here, Easton. Looking for the head of McLean. There will be a minimum of one added minute. Time for Wotherspoon to deliver. Robertson and May together. The EFA Scotland Young Player of the Year and the Football Writers Young Player of the Year side by side. Oh, and just the was flailing. Stephen Anderson with the goal for St Johnston on the stroke of half-time. The man who used to be on the books of Dundee United early in his career has broken through an error in judgment, you'd have to say, by Chersniak, coming for it, couldn't claim it, and Stephen Anderson said thank you very much. Anderson scored against Dundee United when the sides met in April, and he's repeated the trick. What a moment for the Persaints. It's a jolt to the United system. And there's not going to be any time in this first half for United to bounce back. A statement of intent from Steven Anderson. Radoslav Czerzniak will be disappointed with himself, I'm sure. A paucity of goal-scoring chances in the first half. The United players look shell-shocked. And now they're going to... Hear it from Jackie McNamara, but St Johnston, well, their tails are very much up. Stephen Anderson with the goal in added time at the end of the first half, and it all went blue at Celtic Park. The half-time score in the Scottish Cup final, St Johnston 1, Dundee United 0. Final, and St Johnston hold the lead. The goal coming from Stephen Anderson in added time at the end of the first half. Stephen Anderson, who used to captain the Dundee United reserve team, has been on the books of the Perth Saints since 2004. Jackie McNamara has just delivered arguably the most important half-time team talk of his career as United boss. It's already in fits and starts from the Tangerines in the first half, not playing with the usual zest. Johnston, as we thought, was trying to hang tough. There were one or two moments of indecision at the back, able to withstand those moments. And then Anderson bouncing, has to be said, helped out by Radoslav Czerzniak and his inability to get to the ball at a corner. Not that Anderson was complaining. The man who started out with Dalkeith Boys Club before moving to Dundee United as Boots and Johnston in front. And all the Saints go marching on to a cup victory. And Dundee United will have their own views. Second half begins.
And United attacking the goal to our right. Nadia Chifchi immediately He's trying to hold on to it. It's routine for Anderson, and back it goes to Manus. Oh, what a moment from Stephen Anderson. The St Johnston supporters, as they've come from all over the world, to back their team on this big day. 15,000 tickets sold to St Johnston Football Club. It's almost a two to one ratio in terms of Dundee United against St Johnston on the tickets front. See the United supporters there. And that goal away to our right. Here's Watson for Dundee United. Only a season defining game for both teams. Being allowed to continue is done. He's not afraid of that side of things. Rankin, neat and tidy player. Rankin with an excellent pass. That's where Robertson can be effective. He's getting forward to support the attackers, Andy Robertson. Rankin had the vision, was able to execute as well. A chase back for Stephen Anderson and the St Johnston defenders. There's still plenty of time for Dundee United. John Suter and David El Alagui just behind Jackie McNamara there. A bit of climbing going on me. to get away with that, Gavin Gunning. Ryan Easton to take it. Anderson and Mackay, two defenders who have become attackers at the set-piece. Here's Dave Mackay. And Chris Miller, the target was Anderson. Mackay, going to get on the volley, came off Armstrong. Kai Stephen is looking to discomfit Michael O'Halloran. As far as St Johnston are concerned, the trend is their friend. From the last three meetings with Dundee United and leading here in the cup final. Payton for United, Rankin. So they belly of the St Johnson defence. Chichi went to ground, play continues. Robertson for Dow, who was chopped down by Dunn. James Dunn the culprit. And the concession of a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Fraser Wright was down as this was all happening. He got away with one in the first half, James Dunn, and Craig Thompson played advantage. Hasn't got away with it here. It is a caution for the Englishman. Nadia Chifchi is the United player hovering over this. End of options for United. Gunning, of course, can strike them too. Mackay Stephen. Chifchi really wants to take control here. Almost ordered Gunning away. And a massive moment in the Scottish Cup final. Five minutes into the second half. And it's going to be Nadia Chifchi! Oh, and Manus somehow is able to grab it off the frame of the goal. Finesse from Chifchi. We've seen it time and again. 
It wouldn't go over the line for Dundee United. She got it to dip right at the end of its flight. And Manus, well, he won't be complaining about how it fell for him. It came off Manus, and there he was to cover up. Could have gone anywhere in truth. Not the leg of Manus. Where's the ball? There it is. Thank you very much. United knocking on the St Johnston door. Here's Easton for the Saints. Rankin is running into Don. Tackles flying in. This time it's Payton. Well, Temper's getting a bit frayed. And James Don, who was booked himself just a minute or so ago. Nobody holding back. Simply not Peter. Uh, both feet. And Craig Thompson, after giving Peter a lecture, decides it is a bookable offence. Yellow card for Paul Peter. Fraser Wright, and spoken to by Craig Thompson as well. As a right, he used to work as a mechanic while playing as a semi professional player with Stranra early in his career. What a spoon! Look at the freedom here for Wright and May, and it's over the line. The Saints are marching towards a Scottish Cup final triumph. But hang on, is it going to stand? It will. Chasniak with the protestations. Alan Muir there to help out Trey Thompson. It was Wotherspoon with the free kick. Not much defending going on. There was May. Now he did handle, but was the ball already over the line? I must say I thought so. Stevie May, it was a bit cumbersome. He certainly slapped it towards the back of the net. But the damage had already been done. One more look. Well, hang on. Has it been given? I don't think so. Now, you see from that angle that it maybe was a bit closer. And Stevie May cannot believe what has just happened because the indication was goal given but apparently not now and Alan Muir the extra official had something to say about that it's a booking for Stevie May well, I've seen plenty of things in Scottish Cup finals I've never seen that before I have to tell you 1-0 it remains no goal Kipchi goes to ground. Well, you just hope, don't you, that the players keep their discipline. They keep cool heads. Easier said than done. Easton on Chifchi. Well, could that turn out to be a pivotal moment in this final? Stevie May. Goal chopped off now another free kick for Dundee United Chief G entrusted with the task of taking it Manus at the ready Chief G we saw what happened earlier. This free kick came off the woodwork. This one, too much height on it. And it's going to go down as one of the biggest talking points in recent Scottish Cup final history. Let's have a look from this angle. This is the best angle. And you can see from there that Stevie May clearly handled 
before the ball was over the line, before it was all the way over, and that fair play to the officials is a 100% correct decision. Almost trying to feather it over the line. It didn't get away with it, and the punishment had to be a yellow card for me. to be a turning point. Ben Johnson, Scotland's top referee in his third Scottish Cup final. Alan Muir, the official behind the goal. Many people have questioned the need for extra officials. I think Alan Muir has earned his corn today. And without the extra pair of eyes, it's very difficult to tell in real time. Halfway line angle. You would have said, wouldn't you, that that ball was already over. It's all with the game, though. That's Dave Mackay. Trying to foil Gary Mackay Stephen. Still going, Mackay Stephen. Free kick, though. Well, Gary Mackay Stephen saying his bit. Managed to outwit Dave Mackay. One of the most entertaining players in the Scottish game. Keith Watson. away by Rado Ciasniak. In his proudest moments, thinking back to the St Johnston goal, the Stephen Anderson goal. That's by Easter. Dramatically away. Armstrong for Dundee United. Michael Halloran trying to bring his influence to bear on the proceedings. So made by Dylan. South Eastern, there's Anderson. 1 0 to St Johnston. the fourth official there supervising as Keith Watson took the throw second start in the last nine games for Watson Tommy Wright will have thought St Johnston had a two goal cushion Joy short lived Chris Miller leaves it for Stephen Anderson things up again, supported by McLean, this is Easton, now done. And he goes, that's the one that got away, James Dunn. Younger in the uh, Stevie May. That's a wonderful setting. So feel that Celtic Park is a better venue for a showpiece game like this than Hamden. Just Hamden getting ready for the Commonwealth Games. Celtic Park will be involved in the games as well. That's Mackay Stephen. And again his shadow, Dave Mackay. It's a sore one for Mackay Stephen.
into his stride. Contact on the ball from Dave Mackay. Dave Mackay, Stephen. Slight of frame in comparison. Not somebody you want to mess with on the pitch, Dave Mackay. He's a take charge figure. And again, Mackay, Stephen in agony. Jeff Clark, the physiotherapist. One layer to attend to Mackay Stephen. He's had to go off the pitch. United with the advantage in terms of corners. Dow with this one. And Halloran, and here's Wotherspoon. United were fooled. Wotherspoon looking for options. It's done. Racing through the middle. Still with David Wotherspoon. Wotherspoon for St Johnston. Firing it straight at Chersniak. Heroism flashed in front of Wotherspoon's eyes. Player who grew up in Bridge of Earn, just outside Perth, went to Perth High School. Now Andy Robertson at the other end, for and United. And Manus, wonderful goalkeeping. Wotherspoon at one end, and then Robertson at the other. And the sprawling Manus did his job. The slip was by Robertson. Almost had egg on his face, but then had the presence of mind to get forward. And now it's down with the corner. Andy Robertson's high header initially. Away by Mackay. Mackay Stephen. Back on the pitch at least, although still moving a bit gingerly. As he tries to run off the injury. Wallerspoon. There's Dylan. Releasing the ball before Stevie May could get there. Oh, can he shrug off what happened a few minutes ago? He thought he had scored a perfectly good goal, but as we said, got to praise the officials and in particular Alan Muir, the additional official. This cup final, who made the call, helped Craig Thompson get it right. There was a handball before the ball was over the line. Simple as that. So Charleston can't quibble with it. And I don't think Gary Mackay, Stephen, is going to win his battle to remain on the pitch. His number is up. He was always identified as a potential match winner, Gary Mackay Stephen. His place will be taken by Ryan Gold. And applause from the United supporters. Mackay Stephen, as well as for the gifted Gold. He's been a headline grabber. In Scottish football this season linked with so many top clubs around Europe, but it's still early in his career. Shouldn't forget that he's only 18. This is Gold's 50th Dundee United appearance. It's been dubbed the Scottish Messi by one or two, which I think is probably unfair. There's Wotherspoon. Oh, that's a grip. Maybe just rushing it, David Wotherspoon. His 50th St Johnston appearance. Cushioned by McLean. Does a lot of the selfless work and attack for the Saints. Tommy Wright's team still in front. Just the one goal from Stephen Anderson. on the far side. Robertson sort of a bit confused. Nearly 20 minutes into the second half. Halloran, in your yards gained. 
many blue and white scarves on show here, many of them being twirled. Turkish style, St Johnson of course have the tie-up with Eskisha here, sport the Turkish, Turkish club, here's O'Halloran, and it's going to be a corner. Positive from Michael O'Halloran. Forcing Peyton right onto the back foot. And St Johnson supporters rising. Anderson's enjoying himself. There's a right, he must make contact with it. Witherspoon taking the corner to begin with, here's Anderson. And Witherspoon didn't have the legs. I mentioned that St Johnston Eske Shahir Spore link up, of course, they faced each other. In European competition last season, but friendships were made, a brotherhood was formed, and Eske Shahirspor took part in the Turkish Cup final recently, just a week and a half ago, lost to Galatasaray, but quite a few St Johnson supporters made the journey. And I'm told there are one or two Turkish fans in attendance today wearing the St Johnston colours. Here, score fans. Nice touch. And Thompson is called upon once again. I was going to have spells like this in a cup final. The tackling seemingly gets out of control. Greg Thompson, who Missed out on the World Cup. Didn't make the final list for Brazil. Midway through the second half. Saints still in command. Robertson. Anderson with a header. The winners will not only lift the cup, but also go into Europa League qualifying. Second qualifying round, middle of July. Along with Motherwell, Abazine have to start earlier. The start of July. Armstrong and Dow. Ryan Dow. The attempt at came off done. And Armstrong in the end happy enough to accept the corner. Dylan makes his way up. Ryan Dow and Manus couldn't quite reach it. Things are right helping him out. Might still be on here for United, but it's away by Anderson. St Johnston holding on to their lead. And plenty of bodies back, but wait a minute, Manus. Oh, he looked a bit uncertain. It's Watson right at the end of that move following up. Ryan Dow seemed to have the chance prior to that. As Easton tried to clear his lines, there was Manus flapping at thin air. Ryan Dow, action stations, and Keith Watson off his boot. And St Johnston, for the moment, can breathe again. And he made Manus run a bit. Beaten in his last seven matches against Dundee United. Alan Manus. That's what it is to lift cups, having done so four times in Northern Ireland with Linfield. Keith Watson. Mackay's header, and Wotherspoon, and Stevie May. Gunning, could be a bit too fancy. Bounced off Dow, Rankin. Helter-skelter stuff for the midfield area. McLean, 
is going to win the free kick, Sean Dillon was the miscreant. Dillon, the Irishman. Shouldn't forget the Dundee United. Had the Irish connections in their early years. Ended in 1909 as Dundee Hibernian. After the demise of Dundee Harp. This big Irish population. In those days in the Dundee area, many had arrived to work in the jute mills. Jackie McNamara. Just getting a mild rebuke from Greg Thompson. It's not going United's way here. United, the bookies' favourites. So Lee Croft is going to come on for St Johnston. Followed by Chris Miller. And space here for Stephen McLean as he weighs up his options. It's away by Gunning. <laughs> McLean. Nicolo Halloran. Indications are he might be the player to depart any second now. Just on the corner out of it for St Johnston. An effective play by O'Halloran. All hands on deck for Dundee United. Another spoon with the outswinger, Mackay. And Anderson. Oh, had gone out. Anderson's goal, the difference. And Lee Crofts will make an appearance in this cup final. That will hold the all for Michael O'Halloran. And the 23-year-old has asked questions of the United defence. Lee Crofts turn now. A member of the Oldham side that knocked Liverpool out of the FA Cup last season and took Everton to a replay. Just a few days ago, agreed to a new one-year deal with St Johnston. Immediate activity for Croft. Time beginning to be concerned to Dundee United. Gunning up towards Chifchi. Armstrong. It's with Dave Mackay. Mr. Reliable. Dave Mackay. Jackie McNamara knows United haven't been at the fluent best. Nerves creeping in. Twenty-eight thousand or so Dundee United supporters here at Celtic Park. They've travelled the road and the miles. And they're going to go home disappointed. Appeals from both sets of players. There's a Dundee United throw. Keith Watson not too happy with the lack of options. Oh, a smile there from Tommy Wright amid all the pressure. Training experience for a manager. Johnston in the very first Scottish Cup final. Founded in 1884. Stevie May doing a bit of ball winning. Stephen McLean who went to ground. Enabling Sean Dillon to dip in. That's 
Christian spilling over to the other end. Chifchi. She was running out of room. She hasn't done it consistently today. It's been well shackled. And Fraser Wright and Stephen Anderson. Nadia Chifchi. Jackie McNamara got him from Nat Breda on a free. Darren Jackson there. Just talking it over with Jackie McNamara. Darren Jackson, former St Johnston player. And a United player too. May. Not seen very much of Ryan Gold at all since he's come on. There he is. Rankin. Robertson motoring. And Lee Croft tried to match the run of Robertson. That came off Andy Robertson last of all, apparently. Oh, the youngster's not having it. Experienced Lee Croft. A touch on the ball, but did it come off Robertson as well? well it's going to be striker for sitting midfielder. Off is going Paul Payton. He has sacrificed because United need a goal. Can Brian Graham be the man to provide it? Former Wraith Rovers player, who scored seven times this season. It's his 23rd appearance off the bench. United's most used substitute. And strong. Ready to deal with the threat posed by May. Easton. May takes over. 13 minutes left. Stevie May. <laughs> well, there's confidence for you. I'm sure that was really within his compass. Twenty-seven goals though. Stevie May. Just ask Tommy Wright about his significance to the team. And now Gold. And Gold to do up in the Mounds. And Lawrence Kirk. Armstrong. This hasn't really happened for Dundee United. An attack. Stuart Armstrong has been off his game. Robertson and Armstrong usually have a telepathic understanding. Slithering away from Dundee United. A failure to win would mean failure to compete in Europe. Final place would go to St Johnston. We'll join Motherwell and Aberdeen in Europa League qualifying. Will try to qualify for the Champions League. Dylan. Now Watson. Rankin. St Johnston once again have got their defensive resources. Marshall that was gunning. Oh, it's worked its way to Graham. And a miscue from the substitute, Brian Graham. Gavin Gunning, don't think that was a pass, was it? And Graham was happy enough to receive it. Just trying to swivel around, direct it towards goal. Wide of the post. Former Wraith Rovers player, Ryan Graham. Wraith Rovers, one of the teams St Johnston defeated, en route to the final. Chiefs pass, doubled up by Easton. It's not a superb game back there, Brian Easton. Got to credit them all in defence for St Johnston.
Ten minutes left. Easton flicking it in. Another spoon unable to get there. United were to muster an equaliser if it were to be even after 90 minutes. Would go to extra time. Rankin. Dow. Easton. And they can't bear this. United supporters. So they're treated to a victory in the 2010 final. Second cup success to go with 1994. Tiff G. He can decide matches on his own. So close. Nadia Chifchi. It was almost as though time froze for a second at Celtic Park. Nadia Chifchi trying to get the better of Alan Manis. Well, in the event, Manis wasn't put to work. St Johnston supporter watching this. Every second must seem like a minute, every minute rather like an hour. Lee Cross is able to race away the substitutes. He's trying to find Wotherspoon. And Dundee United have looked flustered. The vast swathes of this game. Not the Dundee United we've come to know. St Johnston have been compact, they've been resolute. And Wotherspoon's header. Sean Dillon. There for Dundee United. Chifchi's touch deserts him. Originally a cricket club, the idea was to let the cricketers take part in another sport in winter time, mainly football. And Stevie Bay. Gary McDonald is going to come on for St Johnston. Oh, it's McLean here, and shows the act. Try to stop it, McLean has scored! And the goal stands, and that moment might be decisive. St Johnston carving out their little slice of blue heaven on cup final day in Glasgow. Chersniak beat it again. It didn't look as though there was much on in truth. Stevie May... It took a bubble, there was McLean, and did he go following through, did he foul Radoslav Czerzniak? Not in the opinion of the officials, and it's 2-0 to St Johnston. Confusion reigned for Dundee United. Nothing wrong with that. A tale of two Stevies. In the first half, it was Anderson. Now, late in the game, it's McLean who has done it for Tommy Wright and the Saints of Perth. There was a yellow card, no great surprise for the nature of the celebration by Stephen McLean. His tenth goal of the season, and that's one he will never forget. It's one they certainly will never forget, the St Johnston supporters. Can Dundee United possibly come back from this? Substitution had already been planned. Gary McDonald on for David Wotherspoon. And Dundee United are left, needing a couple of bolts of lightning. A 
McLean's cooking confirms he will not care a jot about that. Gary McDonald on for David Wotherspoon. Coming for United. Armstrong. Croft, here's Rankin. And Rankin all the way over, and Chifchi, and the block by Wright. Robertson. McLean was alive to what was going on. Stephen McLean, who missed four months with a knee injury this season, but has now started 12 out of 16. Playing on Dillon, play continues here, United have the ball. Ryan Dow, four minutes left. Dow, Manus is there, feels it. A skipping run by Dow. Meat and drink to Manus. It looks as though Dundee United have received so many plaudits rightly so this season We're not going to be in Europe come July and something quite miraculous occurs Tricky McNamara's team instead will have to get on with preparing for the beginning of the Premiership campaign in August Tommy Wright St Johnston bound for Europe it would appear again themselves so well in the Europa League qualifying this time as did Rosenborg of Norway lost to Minsk Belarus only on penalties I gotta hope that some of the 15,000 who are here supporting St Johnston make it their business to attend home games on a more regular basis it's easier said than done who are here today don't live in the Perth area anymore. Armstrong now called. He's been quiet since coming on. Way by Easton. Down have a cul de sac. Both fullbacks have been superb for St Johnston. Dave Mackay on the right, Brian Easton on the left. And you can't forget about Stephen Anderson and Fraser Wright. Official attendance here at Celtic Park 47,345. The United supporters no longer believe that it's going to happen for them. Different story as far as the Saints are concerned. They've never been in a cup final until today. Keith Wilson. In the final minute now of normal time. Stevie May. Easton. A goal. It's Chris Miller who has toppled over. Yellow card has handed out. See what happens. Ryan Graham and uh, Gavin Gunning it was who got the yellow card. What a day for St Johnston. And the celebrations will doubtless 
gone long into the night, long into next week, I should think. And out of time now. Minimum of three added minutes. Which is off Fraser right there's Alan Manners to scoop it up. Johnston, a team from the part of the country where Scottish Kings used to be crowned. And it looks as though the Perth Saints will prevail in this Game of Thrones. Stephen McLean with the second goal. After Stephen Anderson had put them in front, they had the ball on the net. Through Stevie May as well, that didn't count. United still alive at Pearley. Stuart Armstrong. Try to give it leather. It came from Robertson's pass from the back. It's all been a bit desperate towards the end here from United. Brian Graham couldn't direct it towards goal. Quickly taken corner. Everything has to be done at pace now. It was there for Graham, the substitute. Even if it had gone in. In all likelihood, too little, too late from a Dundee United side. Simply haven't performed to the level that they can. Trail whistle of Craig Thompson, free kick. Stephen Anderson felt that one and Chief G. Finds the yellow card club. Well, it's been a painful experience for Nadia Chifchi. Well, he has been one of the bright lights in Scottish football this season. Things are right, and Stephen Anderson can't stop smiling, and very shortly, Tommy Wright. The biggest smile of all on his face. Well, St Johnston are nearly there. Still playing. Earlier this week, St Johnston were pictured beside the stone of destiny at Schoon Palace. This is St Johnston's destiny. Tommy Wright's men, Scottish Cup winners for season 2013-2014. In the very first Cup final, the Saints have gone on the march to triumph. Stephen McLean with the all-important second goal that gave St Johnson a cushion after Stephen Anderson right on half-time, had broken through. Scenes of pure joy. Good to see Callum Davidson, now the assistant manager to Tommy Wright, joining in the celebration. They have waited and waited and waited, the St Johnson supporters, for a major honour. Now it has been delivered. St Johnston, the Cup Kings of Scotland. And D United, quite simply, not at the races. Goals from a pair of Stevens. Stephen Anderson with the first, Stephen McLean with the second. It is finished here at Celtic Park. St Johnston 2, Dundee United 0. where they are residing on this Saturday in Glasgow. Chris Miller, one of the unsung heroes of this St Johnston team. And you see the goal scorers 
Yes, as Anderson and McLean. They were always confident, these supporters. The bookmakers had Dundee United as clear favourites. St Johnston had prevailed in the three meetings with Dundee United leading up to this one. They had come a cropper in the first encounter. A whopping 4 0 margin back in August. For whatever reason, St Johnston have been able to solve the United mystery, and not too many teams can say that in Scottish football this season, but they've done it again on the biggest stage in domestic football. Dan Mackay, the man who will hold aloft the trophy, cut tie Mackay, living up to his name this season. In a few years' time, they might look back at these pictures and ask themselves, did he really wear costumes like that? I'm sure they'll consider that it was all worth it. St Johnston's moment, St Johnston's day, and it's one these players will take with them, irrespective of where they go, football-wise, in the years ahead. Christy Malumo, part of the story, not in terms of being on the pitch today, but his experience certainly useful towards the end of the campaign. Let's hope that this success ultimately helps give lie to the canard that Perth is not a football city. I'm sure that they'll have won over many fans. Just in Perth and in the surrounding areas in Lunkerty and Cooper Angus. Perth folk the world over. Great stuff from the Saints. The first major honour. They've won the Scottish Cup on the back of a performance in the first Scottish Cup final. Last team to do that, by the way, Dunfermline. In 1961, they took Celtic to a replay. They won the replay by two goals to nil. St Johnston with a 100% record in the Scottish Cup finals now. They've joined Renton FC, who won the 1895 Scottish Cup final. The celebrations will go on for a long time. Tommy Campbell, of course, will be part of the celebrations as well. The long-serving kit man, very popular with everyone concerned with St Johnston Football Club. Plans being made for the trophy presentation. Steve Brown is the chairman of St Johnston. We got a quick glimpse of him there. Well, not quite champions, but cup winners will do nicely. And of course, while this is going on, Dundee United have got to steal themselves for the presentation of runners-up medals. What a day for everyone connected with St Johnston. It wasn't May Day in the end. May 17. On May 17, we thought it might be written in the stars. Well, he did have the ball in the net, but it was correctly annulled. And will this triumph encourage Stevie May to say, I'm going to give it another year at least under Tommy Wright? There was a fair chance of that. A likeable figure. There's Tommy Campbell, was talking about him earlier, the kit man. He's had his health problems this season. It's great to see him back. He's a valued member of Tommy Wright's backroom staff. David Wotherspoon there, being congratulated. It will mean an awful lot to him.
footpath lad that he is. Tommy Wright, who was the assistant to Steve Lomas, taking over as manager last summer, and he has handled himself very well, very ably. Had a health scare back in March to undergo a gallbladder operation. Just as the Saints are preparing for the Cup semi-final meeting with Aberdeen. And he's over that now. And he's come up with the right tactics on the day. He's been congratulated there by Daniel Broadfoot, the head PR man for the Scottish Football Association. Just telling Tommy Wright what is going to happen next. Well, it's going to take a long time for the Dundee United players to get over this. Sean Dillon, the captain. Ryan Gold did come on. But the closing stages not really able to make a significant impact. So the runners up medals being presented by Kara Ogilvy, wife of Campbell Ogilvy, the president of the Scottish Football Association. to make it worse rain falling on the heads of these United players and it has rained on United and this their big day and United fourth in the Premiership table so they have to rely on a cup final win in order to make it into European football, it's a chance to qualify for the Europa League, but that chance has gone. Well, they'll be there consoling Jackie McNamara. Well, he's building something exciting, and that hasn't changed. The officials receiving their commemorative medals. Thompson, the referee, Wayne Chambers, Michael Banks, the assistants, Kevin Clancy and Alan Muir, the extra officials. And don't forget about Alan Muir's important contribution on the goal line. And those who say you need goal line technology, maybe you don't if you have extra officials who are doing their jobs. So now, St Johnston's turn to milk the moment. Tommy Wright has guided the Perth Saints to their first ever major honour. Yes, they managed in league terms, third in the top division three times. Most recently last year, David Wotherspoon there, the local boy, Lee Croft, who came on towards the end. Stevie May, Scottish football writer's young player of the year. So Hasselbank didn't get to participate. But they're preparing for this magnificent moment. So Johnson certainly don't have the biggest budget in Scottish football, but my goodness, they know how to punch well above their weight. The Scottish Cup, season 2013-2014, goes to St Johnston. And Dave Mackay, the gleeful captain, St Johnston's Scottish Cup. Well, I think it 
it's going to be more than a good night in Perth and environs the cup being passed along Tommy Wright has given them all the platform from which to succeed Fraser Wright and 34 in his 100th St Johnston appearance simply superb at the back alongside Stephen Anderson and now the lap of honour St Johnson supporters going nowhere they've never seen anything quite like this before Stevie May and Lee Croft first players to go for a jog with the cup well, they beat Aberdeen in the semi-final and not too many were backing them they've beaten Dundee United in the final again they were the underdogs and it's nice to see players doing something like that it's the players moment maybe but it's everyone's moment it's a family moment too St Johnston, the cup winners. And who would deny them at this moment of delight? And it was Stephen McLean's second goal. Well, they put the icing on the cupcake. Stephen Anderson had scored first. And all these photographs. to be preserved forever. And this is going to continue, I think, for a while longer. I very much hope you've enjoyed the Scottish Cup final of 2014, a final that threw together two Tayside clubs. Dundee United were the favourites, but they will go home empty. And goals from two Stevens, Messrs Anderson and McLean, doing the trick for St Johnston. 2-0 winners, the cup goes to the Perth Saints.